Welcome to Cinerama TV, I'm Miss Kelly. Papa Tom is getting ready to show us how to make a bird mask. He'll be using our Cinerama plaster cloth. Some additional things you'll need are some newspaper, some masking tape, a piece of cardboard, and a hobby knife. Now let's go check out Papa Tom and his simple bird mask. Another way of making a mask is to do it on a piece of uh, cardboard like I have right here. And we'll use some newspaper and form a head. We'll crumple it up, tape it down. Papa Tom is rolling the edges of the newspaper from the outside to form a pillow-shaped newspaper wad. This technique can also be used to form hills and or volcanoes. What I want to do is get a rounder head and then build kind of a toucan type beak down the center here. We'll put eyeballs up here and make a nice funny mask with this one. So now that we've got a general shape, let's start getting some plaster cloth on it. Put it right down to the paper, as you see I'm doing right here, right down to the cardboard, because you can cut that away later on when it dries and give it a nice crisp edge. Lay the wet plaster cloth bumpy side up, then smooth out the plaster with your fingers to fill in the holes. Now the other thing you have to do and take into consideration is the fact that because you're working with just the plaster cloth, you don't have anything to show eyebrows or eyes or whatnot. So another way of doing that is with the plaster cloth itself, get it wet, kind of google it up a little bit, and form eyebrows. Take two equal squares, and what we're going to do is wad it up. Sounds kind of crude, but we're making a big old spitball out of it. And we'll stick that in for an eyeball. Now we'll do the other eye on the other side. Do one last check around, make sure we got everything. Okay, our mask is dry now. And you could either cut it out now with a razor blade very carefully along the outside edges and then paint it. Or in this case, I think I'll leave it on for right now because it's a little bit easier to paint it and still bring it up and show it to you without touching it a lot. This is kind of an abstract, futuristic bird, so it doesn't have to be anything particular. Use your imagination to color it. I think what we're going to do is let's have a yellow beak on here. So we'll put that on so that it can dry. So I want to come back later on, I think, and also put on some uh, stripes as well in the beak like you would have on a toucan. All right, now that we got the yellow on, let's get the rest of the bird head around, and I think we'll do that with kind of a powder blue color. It'll be an exotic bird. The Cinerama Sculpting Kit includes all the paints that Papa Tom is using. And we'll just do little beady black eyeballs in there. First, we need some nostrils on there too, so let's put some nostrils in. And the bird usually has them up on the top here on each side. Now I think what I should do, I was going to paint the whole eyeball black, but instead I'm going to leave the white around it, and we'll put just a nice ring of darker blue around that to emphasize it. Now what we need to do next is across most birds they have a break in the beak up here. Maybe we ought to do that and that'll help emphasize the nose just a little bit more there, his beak. Still want to put some color into the nose here like a toucan does. Maybe some red stripes going right through it on both sides. Do another one right down alongside of it. Now as you can see, they don't have to be realistic. You can let your mind flow, let your imagination go. You can even put a blue stripe in there if you want. After all, you're in control. As long as we've got the fur, we might as well use it and play with it. So let's use the brown. Now while the paint is still wet, take your fun fur and just dab it right into it. And grab a hold of it and put the fur right into it. And then shake off the excess. What I want to do now is maybe get just a little bit of the head here kind of like a little widow's peak head here to outline and give him some of the brown hair up there yet. We've got just a little bit left of the brown fur. Now again, while it's still wet, we'll just shake that on. Bounce the excess off. Uh, 
All we have left to do is to cut it carefully away from the cardboard along the base. So take a very sharp X-Acto knife and just cut it basically very carefully, like I said, right across the base so that it makes a nice clean line. Kids, be sure to ask mom or dad for help when using anything sharp, such as scissors or a hobby knife. And of course, once you get it cut off, you can pull the newspaper out, as you see I'm doing here, and that will allow it to continue to dry because it is still a little bit damp on the inside. Isn't that just great, kids? You can have a lot of fun with this. Uh, just use your imagination, take it wherever it leads you, but have fun. <laughs>